That's awesome. Cause, uh, you know, I've seen you, I mean, I've driven to Iowa city and, and other places to go see you. Cause like I said, it, it's, there's not a pile of local music around here, but you did actually come up in my neck into the woods, um, into Fort Dodge and played a show not terribly long ago with, uh, Dustin Arbuckle. And, uh, I, I am going to apologize here. I think the last time I had somebody on and we talked about that show, uh, we misnamed Dustin. So, uh, Dustin Arbuckle, the uh, amazing harmonica player. Smustin Charn- Charnuckle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that was such a fun time to come see you up there. And uh, I brought a couple of my buddies with me, and I was like, dude, you got to check this out. This is some This is some wild music because... Like like we said, there's not many people playing your style of music. You play uh, roots and blues, and uh, the roots music is is not. I don't want to say it's not common, but it's uh it's it's a unique style that uh, is maybe I don't want to say dying out either, but it's not. It's just not common. Um, we talked a little bit in the last podcast about how you kind of got started into that, but uh, did you ever take any formal lessons for that, or did you just kind of buddy up with some people and and trade licks here and there until you have figured it all out yeah yeah i mostly i mostly learned the old-fashioned way which is just um asking a lot of questions and uh listening to stuff and trying to pick up what i heard on on records and cds and things um i started taking lesson i took lessons eventually but i was well into my playing so um i probably i don't know several years into my playing when i'd a- already been gigging quite a bit and whatever i i did start taking lessons with a guy named rob lombard in des moines who's kind of a finger style master and i that's how i learned to play with my fingers you know play that style of music so um yeah so i i guess i did eventually take lessons but i kind of learned learned like i said the old-fashioned way just from picking up things where i could I, i'd go to see i don't know how much information you want on the subject but i i would go to um a club in des moines called blues on grand which at the time was a major kind of stop on routing stop for a lot of these national touring acts. And so I got to, I basically, I always say I kind of grew up in that club. I, I learned a lot there. I was able to not only see a lot of my heroes from five feet away, but also I just able to talk to them and, and uh, you know, pick their brains about a lot of things, not only playing related, but you know, business, how to run, how to run their business and how they run their business and how they handle bands and people that, you know, are in their sort of creative circle and things like that. So I just can't, you know, can't underestimate what I learned from that situation. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's an important lesson. A lot of people uh, maybe undersell when it comes to playing music is, is how to quote unquote run your business. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, poke fun at anybody, but it's, it's, you go online sometimes and people just have like uh, some dodgy looking Facebook or some sparse posting or, or things.